Welcome and welcome to my market wrap for Thursday, December 29th, 2016. 20,000 didn't happen. And I guess I can understand now why, looking into it more. Um, you have window dressing, which basically you got these big institutional uh, mutual funds, etc., are. Um, Selling out positions for taxes, investors are selling out positions for you know tax loss, etc. So it may not happen. You know, there's still hope. A couple more days left in the uh, year, and it's not that far away. You know, all we need is some solid buying. To be honest, it's not there. You know, uh, advanced decline line pretty much 50-50 today. The underlying numbers were. Okay, you know, not horrible, not, you know, good if you're a bull. Uh, but it's just a slow retracement. You know, a lot of the froth is coming out of the top, which is good. It's healthy. So, you know, like I've been saying in the past videos, 20,000 is more of a historical point as opposed to anything else. There's no real significance, although there is a lot of resistance at uh Around 20,000, 1950. It hit it four times and it came down. So that's, as a technician, as a sign of a lot of resistance. Um, support, we broke through at 19,870, uh, I think support was. Broke down slightly below, but I wouldn't consider that a major break. But the next serious level for support is 19,200 on the Dow. So, like I said, um, slow and steady wins the race. It's almost uh, end of the year. You got winter dressing and everything going on. So, you know, let's just take a breather. It's been a really good rally, you know, and uh, let's see how it goes. I mean, I'm optimistic. <laughs> you never know. Anyway, let's get into it. The Dow Jones Industrial Average closed down 13.90 points to 19,819.78 or down 0.07%. The NASDAQ Composite closed down 0.4, or no, I'm, I'm sorry, 6.47 points, that look like a zero from here, to 5342.09, down 0.12%. The broad-based S&P 500 closed down 0.66 points to 2249.26, or 0.03%. Small cap Russell 2000 closed up 0 0.45 points to 1361.27 or up 0.3%. So, you know, small caps did a little better today. Going on to other indices today, the NASDAQ 100 triple Qs closed down 8 points to 4918.28 or down 0.16%. The S&P mid-cap 400 closed up 3.41 points to 1865.97, or 0.21%. The S&P small-cap 600 index closed up 1.60 points to 841.21, up 0.18%. The NYSE composite index closed up 13.84 points to 11,072.72, or up 0.13%. The XAU, the Gold and Silver Index, closed up 4.32 points to 81.83, or up 5.59%. Pretty good rally there. The SOX Index, the Semiconductor Index, closed down 0.14 points to 920.95, or 0.02%. The VIX, the Volatility Index, Closed up 0 0.47 points to 13.42, or up 3.63%. Now, if you see there, the VIX has been climbing over the past couple of days, which is a sign that there's some volatility kicking on, which is a good thing. You got confirmation. That's what you want to see. Uh, going on to market internals today. Total share volume on the New York Stock Exchange, slightly heavier than the past couple of days. 2.32 billion shares traded, of which 
1.174 billion were advancing, 1.06 billion were declining, and 77 million were unchanged. Looking at the Nasdaq stock market, 1.256 billion shares total share volume, of which 590 million were advancing, 639 were declining, and 25 million were unchanged. And those were millions of shares for the advancers and decliners, by the way. On the NYSE market or Amex, 117 million shares traded, of which 74.5 million were advancing, 38.6 million were declining, and 3.96 million were unchanged. Looking at the advanced decline line or market breadth, total issues advancing on the New York Stock Exchange, 1,783, declining issues on the New York Stock Exchange, 1,217, and unchanged issues were 121. Looking at the NASDAQ stock market, 1,408 issues were advancing, 1,451 were declining, and 146 issues were unchanged. So there it's a little bit more closer, a 50-50 split. Looking at the NYSE market or MX, 178 issues were advancing, 140 issues were declining, and 20 issues were unchanged. Looking at the currencies and commodities today versus the U.S. dollar starting off off in the currencies. The euro, 1.0483, up 0 0.0070. Japanese yen, 116.66, down 0 0.59. My favorite currency, the English pound, 1.2267, up 0 0.0041. The Australian dollar up 0 0.0033. Followed up with the Swiss franc 1.0241 down 0 0.0042. Looking at the commodities today, West Texas Intermediate Crude $53.77 down 27 cents or down 0.54%. Looking at Brent North Sea Crude, fifty-six dollars and fourteen cents, down eight cents, or down 0.14 percent. Looking at the price of gold, one thousand one hundred fifty-eight point sixty, up seventeen dollars and oh, it just ticked up. I'm sorry, because these are live. Um, price of gold on Globex, one thousand one one thousand one hundred fifty-eight dollars and seventy cents up $17.80 now to 1.55% on the upside. Uh, looking at the price of silver, $16.20.5, 0.205, up 0.167 cents, so almost 17 cents, up 1.04%. Looking at equity index futures, Dow Jones futures contract, 19,765, down 10 points, or down 0.05%. Looking at the S&P 500 future, 2244.75, down half a point, or down 0.02%. Running up in the bonds, the 10-year bond, up 9.30 seconds of a point. Yield to maturity, 2.476%. So as I said, 20,000 didn't happen. There's a lot of end-of-year um selling going on for tax purposes and everything and finishing up finalizing uh most of your big institutions mutual funds have already shifted now the market is just ebbing and flowing doing its normal thing um i feel is that this is a good pullback it's a natural pullback it's good for it to happen and um where it goes i could be an up day, could be a down day. You know, like today, we just had the Russian, uh, we just had the Russian diplomats, 35 of them, get, get booted out of the country, in essence, because of this hacking scandal. Also, sanctions were placed on Russia. So you really don't know what's going to happen. I mean, this just happened at 3.30 Eastern, so right before the close of trade. Um, 
You really don't know. And looking at the futures, they look fairly steady. So, but it's early. Uh, we'll know more tomorrow morning in which direction the market's going to go. Hopefully, hopefully, you know, we're 181 points and change away from uh, 20,000. It's a doable thing. If we can go down, we can go up that same way. So you really just don't know which way things are going to go, especially because there's basically 50% of normal volume is being traded. So there's really not that many people in it. Um between Christmas and New Year's. So I think if it's not going to happen tomorrow, 20,000 will happen after the New Year. And we get it over with and we can focus on, you know, core fundamentals again. But, you know, it's exciting for sure, again, from a historical point of view. Anyway, I want to close this video and say, whatever your dreams are, follow them, persevere through the obstacles, because life always throws you obstacles. It's how you persevere and fight that gets you to the end result. Never give up your dreams. And if you, if you found this video useful, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And also please support me on Patreon. Link will be in the description. I thank you very much, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.